On Saturdays here in the fall at Neyland Stadium, it's easy to think about General Robert Neyland and his legacy with ball football. But how many fans know the namesake behind Tennessee's baseball stadium? Do you know who Lindsey Nelson is? Honestly, no, I don't. Lindsey Nelson. Maybe a coach. Not quite. There is a Lindsey Nelson that used to be a broadcaster for the New York Mets. Bingo. Well, Lindsey Nelson was one of our famous alumni. Hello, everybody. I'm Lindsey Nelson with Tom Brookshire here at the Sun Bowl. And Tom, we got a whole batch of sunshine. Lindsey Nelson was a legendary sports broadcaster, a World War II correspondent, and a teacher. What did you hit on the 2 2 pitch? I think it was a slide. I'm not sure. His roots start in Columbia, Tennessee, and branch to the University of Tennessee, where he studied journalism from 1937 to 41. The first thing he did was he spotted for world famous Bill Stern at a Tennessee football game. He also began his broadcasting career in Knoxville. Lindsay became the announcer for the University of Tennessee. First in 1947, he was a color announcer, and then 48, 49, and 50, he did radio broadcast for football games and some basketball. The first voice of the Vols, he's credited with creating Vol Network. He's the one who talked Coach Nealon at that time into starting the Vol Network, and Lindsey was a promoter of that, thought that everybody across the state ought to hear Tennessee football. Nelson then broke into the big leagues, calling New York Mets games for 17 years. It's the most exciting baseball day we've had in New York in years. He also broadcasted nationally for iconic sporting events, including the World Series, Masters, Sugar Bowl, among other championships. It was Brooks Robinson up there with runners at first and third in the ninth. The Mets were leading one nothing, and Ron Swoboda comes over. Makes a diving catch. To me, the most important thing was he worked with every network. Not many announcers are able to do that. Lindsey was one that did. Nelson's 20 plus years in sports broadcasting is enshrined in multiple Hall of Fames. He had an impact on a lot of other people that were in the broadcasting business. And uh, I think that was his legacy. Eventually, when the on air side went dark, he returned to Tennessee as an adjunct professor in broadcasting. He was a Tennessee volunteer from the beginning and to the end. His legendary career and ties to Tennessee are commemorated in the stadium of a sport he loved. So he maintained a close contact with the university all during those years, even when he was calling baseball, or whatever. And I think certainly the university realized that, our state realized it, and what appropriate name for someone who meant so much to baseball. If you were one of the lucky fans to get your hands on a ticket for the Knoxville Super Regional this weekend, you'll be able to do what Lindsey Nelson loved to do, watch baseball and cheer on his alma mater. Reporting from Lindsey Nelson Stadium, Kellyanne Stitz, WATE6 on your side.